Alright, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahawa, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Raka Kodash, the one and still the elders and apostles of Great Mustone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in all sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahaya from the James Kingston Jamaica camp, here again with another quick lesson. And as you can see, the title that is here um, from the Gleena article, right? This is a, a post um, from the Gleena made on the October 27th, 2020. Right, it says job loss is coming as Scotia Bank closes two branches, convert six to digital model. Right, and we can expect this to happen um, in a greater number in the coming months ahead. Right, and the article actually goes into why they are doing this. Right, so the article states that Scotia Bank says it has started discussions with the union representing its employees about potential job losses with the impending closure of its Black River, St. Elizabeth and Old Arbor, um, St. Catherine branches next year. In a statement Tuesday evening, the bank said it will be closing the branch, the, the Black River branch in February 2021 and Old Arbor location in April 2021. Right? At the same time, Scotia Bank said by January 2021, six other branches will be converted to digital operating model. Right, so what that means is that they're going to basically be doing transactions via digital means, right? So it says the operations at the operations at the Black River branch will be con consolidated into the San Santa Cruz location in Saint Elizabeth, while the Old Arbor operations will be shifted to Maypin in Clarendon, according to Scotia Bank. These impending changes are to to better are to better to align the bank with current revenues as well as the shift in customer preferences, especially since the onset of COVID-19. Right? So they are, they are having a shift in customer preferences. No. Let's bear in mind these changes has been in the in the agenda before COVID-19, right? But now they are using COVID-19 as a scapegoat to say that COVID-19 is the reason for customer preferences, right? They have been planned um, moving to a digital model before COVID-19. So I don't know what kind of, of, um, of um, what do you call it? What, what kind of argument they're coming with as if COVID-19 is the reason why why they actually are opting to do these things right COVID-19 is just just a, a a catalyst for them to accomplish agenda that they have been wanting to do right so the article continues to say especially since the onset of COVID-19 so Scotia branch is to be converted to digital it's Christian and um, Falmouth, Portmore, Port Antonio, Port Maria St. Hansby, right? It goes on and says Scotia, Scotia Bank transaction log as at September 2020. So you can see, say, COVID 19 being a catalyst has actually influenced a lot of people to use um, bank transactions about 60% of the time, right? And now um, online and mobile transaction has gone up to 30%, right? AT, um, ABM and point of sale transaction has gone up to has been um, 64 64% so most of the transactions um, happening via the bank is happening through these um, mediums online and mobile transactions and ABM and point of sale transactions right so you can see that um, the shift um, COVID-19 is actually bringing about that shift from bringing about that shift towards a more digital means of um, transactions through the bank right the bank um the scotia bank actually has a branch at the uwi of the west indies where the bank actually doesn't use money right they don't they don't accept money what they do is that they have they only do um activist activities such as opening opening accounts and other um, paperwork type of activities right so they don't they don't do any form of cash transactions 
so we can see that that's where most of these branches are coming to right the removal of cash transactions from the bank and what that does it actually saves on resources being used by the bank right because they are trying to move to a more digital platform right but this actually is impacting people's livelihood right so what we're going to see now is that we're going to see a massive amount of jobs lo being lost in the banking sector right and these things mostly affect the people on the front line the the tellers right those are the people who these things mostly affect right so the scripture is in the book of um, Ecclesiastes 12 says remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the ears draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them because these days that are coming are not pleasurable days these days that are coming are days that will are being that will be filled with stress sorrow even going on to to legit fear right fearing for thy life right so it's only going to move going to move upwards in difficulty right now we are losing a job next minute you'll be losing a leg because a man wants to eat this is how serious it's going to get right so it says while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened nor the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows shall be darkened so the grinders are going to cease men and hope is going to be lost right they have individuals who are currently um planning a life with a wife and kid and planning how to to grow their portfolios and all of that jazz um, of what a successful individual normally meditates and thinks upon right all of those things are going to come to us to a to a, a halt because of the times that we're living in and the 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 the, the direction that society is taking right the scripture in the book of Isaiah 32 verse 10 says what many days and here shall he be troubled he careless women right and women are some of the individuals that are going to be caught right <laughs> as, you, as you can say um, that's going to be caught blinded men you understand for lack of a better term understand they're going to be caught off guard right because they are the ones who, who mostly think about stuff contrary to what is happening in rea reality right they are not thinking and focusing and preparing themselves for the times that are ahead they're actually thinking about um who not think about faith forget uh, multiple men i think about how they settle down with a with a husband and, and a in, in a nice house and have a little kid and all of that jazz right so it says for the vintage shall fail the gathering shall not come tremble ye women that are at ease be troubled ye careless ones trip you and make you bear great sucklet upon your upon your upon your loins right because we are going in a state of mourning the two perilous times that are coming are times of mournful times right times of anguish and distress right says they shall lament for the teeds for the pleasant fields for the fruitful vine right and a lot of these telepositions are occupied by women right and they are going to lament for the teeds for the pleasures that they used to have getting that getting that hundred grand or whatever amount they get a, 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 a month right being able to go out with their girls and and eat fried chicken right and eat lobster and all of that crap right you're going to lament for that tea for that pleasant feel right for the fruitful vine it says upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars yea upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city so you know you're going to have man who enjoy the pub who enjoy going to the pub um drinking with their with their guys 
right? Who, who like to party because them have a nice little funds can live for the weekend. All of that have a stop, you know? All, all of that have come to a standstill, right? Well, it has stopped <laughs> due to COVID-19 and it's not coming back. And we can only see things getting worse and worse, right? They say, because the policies shall be forsaken, the multitude of the city shall be left, the forts and towers shall be for dense forever, a joy, a joy of wild asses, a pasture of flocks, right? So everything is coming to a state where it's diminishing, right? And COVID-19 is one of the catalysts that is moving the society to a state where the elites want it to be but it's going to impact a lot of people in severe ways man right it's going to impact a lot of people in a severe manner right and a lot of people won't be able to sustain themselves and it's only going to go into a state of peril and utter chaos right yeah that is what the the these these signs are right job losses coming right and digital development the signs these are signs of um dreadful and terrible days ahead right so with that hope that this lesson was edifying until the elected nation of israel i want to say kalalal yahweh bashem yahushai bashem akakodash the bonus to the elders and apostles of Gravenstone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth shalom